Hi, I'm Deb from Deb's Fitness Journey, and today is Vlog Monday. Today I'm going to share with you a few of the things that I do to help alleviate the pain of depression. And these are not necessarily cures for depression, but they do take the edge off so you can get through every single day. Here we go. One of my most favorite things to do is sit out in the sun. I'm not talking about getting in your bathing suit and sun tanning. I'm talking about just sitting outside in the fresh air with the sun beating down on my skin. There are people who suffer from something called SAD, which is seasonal affective disorder, and that is during the winter time or the months that don't have that much sunshine, people become depressed. And this is because of the amount of vitamin D that they're getting. And it is so important for us to get our vitamin D because it has a multitude of health benefits. So if you are feeling down and you just go outside and you sit in the sun, you're going to instantly feel better. You just can't be sad in the sun. You just, at least I can't. There are people who do live in areas that don't have a lot of sunshine or especially right now it's the end of March and just like right now outside it's raining. So I have this thing called... <laughs> It's going to sound really cheesy. It's called the Happy Light 6000. The Happy Light 6000. <laughs> it sounds really dumb, but it's called light therapy. And um, I actually put it behind my laptop and I turn it on because the way that it's supposed to work is it's supposed to, you're supposed to look into it. And, you know, it helps you out by shining in your eyes. And so if I put it behind my laptop while I'm working or I'm researching or whatever, then I'm not even noticing that I'm looking into the light, but it's giving me the benefits without me having to be conscious about using Happy Light 6000. Next on my list is taking a shower. And for those of you who have never suffered from depression before, that might seem like something silly, but it's actually really a big deal for us who suffer from depression to take a shower, especially if you're severely depressed. Some people just don't have the drive, and there have been times where I've gone like a week without taking a shower just because it's not within me to do anything. But um, if you can take a shower, that definitely makes you feel clean and fresh, and it just kind of puts you in a better mood. For the days that you don't have the energy to take a shower, you can have someone draw you an Epsom salt bath. The Epsom salt helps detox your body, it draws out the toxins, and it's really relaxing. You just kind of lay there, soak it all up. You want to be in there for at least 20 minutes, and voila! You're clean, and you drew out some toxins. The next thing on my list is going for a car ride. This is just to help you get out of the house, get some fresh air. Um, going for a car ride, you're not having to talk to anybody or see anybody except if you want someone to come along or drive for you. Um, it just kind of helps me to clear my mind, get out of the same environment that I've been in for maybe one, two, or five days in a row. Um, it's just a nice change of pace. The next thing on my list is something that is very therapeutic for me that I've been doing since I was a little girl, and that is writing in a journal. And writing in a journal allows you to get all of your thoughts out without having to feel like someone is going to judge you or put you down for what you feel or have to say. And it really just relieves everything off of your shoulders. Something that coincides with writing in your journal could be writing down prayers to God or writing down things that you want to have happen in your life and then praying to God that those things will happen or... Um, just kind of releasing every negative thing that you're going through and just putting it on his shoulders. It helps. The next thing on my list is something that I really like to do, and it's listen to upbeat music. And this is really only when I'm by myself because I'm pretty goofy. You just can't be sad when you're listening to music and dancing. It's just a real mood lifter, so try it if you haven't. Something else you can do is get creative, and I know that this can definitely take energy, but um, you know, on a day maybe you feel like you have more energy, get out a sketch pad and maybe just start sketching, or write poems, or do little crafts here and there. What I have done is I have turned my hobby of crafting into a little business. And I actually have a store on Etsy called Hello Sunshine Paper Company. And I sell paper die cuts to people. And it makes me feel really good because I can be productive. I enjoy it and it makes me happy. One 
word of advice that I got from a social worker is to find a positive in every single day. So what I do is every night before I go to bed, I think about the day that I had and I think about one thing that made me smile or laugh or feel happy or just overall made me feel good. And it could be from like the smallest thing to my cat fell off the table and it was really funny to something big like I found out that my friend is pregnant and it's the happiest thing ever. So being able to point out everything good that happens in your day kind of helps to outweigh the bad things that happen and really make you change your mindset without having to be like, oh, I just got to think positive. Because if you just think like that, it, for me personally, it's never helped me. And it's also really frustrating people tell you to think positive. Ugh, you don't know what we go through. You don't know our life. The next thing is finding inspiration. Finding a quote or a book or just something that totally inspires you and helps you get from today to tomorrow. For me, um, that is, well, I have several of them, but one of my favorite ones is where there's a will, there's a way. And I actually have that on a bracelet. Let's see, it's backwards though. I can look at it every single day and just, it's just encouraging. I think it's helpful and it makes me smile and it's cute. But last but definitely not least is reading the Bible getting into the word and spending time with God and that for me just really lifts my spirit and makes me feel so much better it gives me hope for tomorrow it gives me hope for my future so those are my tips that I have for you guys to maybe work into your day slowly or one at a time or try them all if you want to um, those are just things that definitely help me and um, after like seven or eight years of going through this um, those are the things that definitely are my favorites and I feel that work. I hope that they can help you. Um, if you have any tips on how to get through your day when you have depression, um, I would love to hear them and I'm sure it would help anybody else that's watching this video. So comment below, whether it's on YouTube or my blog, um, what helps you during the day to get through your depression. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.